Hey guys, this is Justin from Ecclesia, and I am here sitting in front of this uh, this big statue here in downtown uh, downtown Statesville. And as I was uh, walking past, I was reminded of uh, of Paul in Athens. Um, as he traveled through Athens, his spirit was stirred up because he saw all these different. Um, idols that were being worshipped, um, so many of them almost too numerous to count, um, but then found a place of common ground to be able to connect with the, the locals and to be able to, uh, to be able to hopefully transfer them from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Um, and that brings me to the topic for today. Uh, we're praying for our wives uh, that God would um, supplement their faith with virtue and their virtue with knowledge and then their knowledge with self-control. Now, um, me and my wife, uh, are unlike a lot of folks, we actually uh, we're high school sweethearts, and uh, so we've been th we were actually gone through a lot of different things uh, before we came to a relationship with Christ. Um, we started dating as teenagers. Uh, we were together through lots of struggles, um, lots of um, lots of sin in our lives, really, up until the point where uh, we really took hold of the gospel for ourselves and were baptized into Christ in about 2005. Um, and from that point on, um, in in the receiving of the gospel, this acknowledgement and receiving of Jesus as both Lord and Savior, and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we began to to learn how to do life differently, uh, differently than anything that we had grown up knowing, differently than really anything that we'd ever experienced. Um, when we first got into the church, we talked to one another about, um, you know, we need to at least get into church because, for the kids' sake, because at least they'll, they'll learn good morals and things like that there. Um, we'll sort all that weird stuff out at home, you know. Um, what we found out later was that the weird stuff, the, the actual intimate relationship with Christ, the, the power of the Holy Spirit that it talks about in 1 Thessalonians, um, and the, the assurance that we have as believers, that's the good stuff. And, um, and so as we grew in the grace and knowledge of the Lord, uh, again, going through a lot of struggles and things like that, we learned this new way of life and this thing of self-control became less of a, a list of things that we had to uh, resist in ourselves, but just coming into agreement with Jesus, with the scriptures, with God, what, um, about what a truly human being ought to be and look like. And of course, the, the prototype or the example of that set forth is Jesus himself. And so we look at Jesus, we look at the teachings of Jesus, we look at the teachings of the Holy Spirit via Paul and some of the apostles in the New Testament, and we start to get this, we start to get this vision or this, uh, this understanding of what, this, what humanity was really intended always to look like. And then we said, okay, well, if that's what we're supposed to be, I'm looking at my life right now, yeah, it doesn't look like that. So we have this picture of what things are supposed to be, uh, this blueprint that God has set forth in Christ, and then the reality of how things are now. And so once we look at what we're attaining towards, um, and we look at where we are, that we'll, then it's a matter of saying, okay, Lord, I believe that what you're asking me to do and the transformation that you want to do in my mind and in my heart and in my life that that's the best thing for me, and that's the best thing for my wife. And so in coming into agreement with God, um, then it's a matter of putting our faith in that spirit that he's placed in us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. So as we say, and then it's a matter of patiently waiting for God to actually bring to fruition those things, to bring the salvation from the way things were to the way things ought to be and the way things will be. Um, because we as Christians are, are really meant to be a foretaste or a signpost pointing to that future day when all things are set right. Um, it's a, it is a daily struggle. Uh, it is a constant uh, life of forgiveness, of repentance, um, of extending grace towards one another, of, of humbling ourselves and saying, you know, we can't do this all alone, and this is why we need a community around us. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, me and God are good, and I don't really need to go to church or anything like that, but I've just discovered that it's, it's, it's so difficult to, to live the Christian life um, apart from the community of Christ. Um, actually, prayer is one of the first places that I really experienced um, powerful movements of the prayer is getting together with a small group of people on a weekly basis and just focusing on talking about, okay, bro, this is what I'm going through. This is what you're going through. Um, 
I'm, this is where I messed up. This is where you messed up. You pray for me. I'll pray for you. And, um, and really starting to experience carrying some of the burdens of my brothers. And in doing that, fulfilling the law of the Messiah. Um, we strengthen ourselves because each of us is called to carry our own burden. But also, there may be someone in the midst of you who's carrying a heavy burden that's too much for them at any given moment. And if you can then take some of that burden upon yourself um, in order to help them through it, that's the fulfilling of the law of Messiah, um, which is obviously rooted and grounded in love. Um, so that's what we're going to be praying for our wives today, um, that God would help them to have an overabundance of this, this spirit of, of self-control, of coming into agreement with God um, of what a truly human being looks like and helping them in the power of the Spirit uh, and waiting for that salvation that comes from the Messiah to manifest Himself uh, within them. And, um, and also a good thing to pray for one another in as well. So have a blessed day, and uh, it is the Lord's Day. Looking forward to getting over to church right now, and I hope that you uh, just have an amazing week in the Lord.